Hello everyone and welcome to Everyday Lead Code. This is Teer Toshi and today we are going to solve another interesting problem. I see a lot of new subscribers these days. Okay, anyways. Uh, so, like every time we'll just go with the logic and the structure of the problem and then a walkthrough. So, the question is find the duplicate numbers. Uh, one duplicate number. So, given an array nums containing n plus 1 integers where each integer is in between 1 and n inclusive. Now, where each integer is between 1 and n inclusive. Now, whenever you have an array, whenever they give you that it's in between 1 and n, you need to know that you have to play with the indices. Okay, uh, so that is one clue that when you read the problem, you know that you are going to play with the indices somewhere. Prove that at least one duplicate number must exist. Assume that there is one duplicate number. Find the duplicate one. So you are given an array uh, having n plus one integers, and all of these uh, numbers are in between one and n. So if there are five integers, that is four plus one, then there is one, two, three, four. So the numbers are in between one, two, three. 4 and there is one duplicate in it 1 2 3 4 kitna number it's it's four numbers and there would be one another duplicate that would be maybe a one a two or something else or maybe you might have one anything anything in that sense so if you take the input if you just take this particular example the input is 1 3 4 2 and 2 so here the duplicate is 2, so you output a 2. Here the duplicate is a 3, so you output a 3. Okay, now this problem is actually a very easy problem because somebody will tell you that, hey, let's just sort the array, compare the adjacent positions and if there is uh, an adjacent position that is equal, you just output that particular value. Uh, of course that will work, but you are actually modifying the array when you are uh, doing that. So no modifications. I'll tell you that no modifications are allowed in the input array. Second question. Second thing is uh, somebody will come up and tell that, okay, I'll, I'll not modify the array. I'll just put uh, a hash map in. I'll keep on putting everything in the hash map. And then uh, if a number repeats in the hash map, you just output that number. So. Of course, it works. Uh, it's not wrong. Both these methods are not wrong and there's at least one way to solve it. So both these methods are not wrong, but they somehow modify the array once. And second, uh, you are using extra space in the hash map solution. So what if I tell you, you cannot modify the array. You cannot, uh, uh, you cannot modify the array one and you cannot even use extra space, of course. So now how do you solve the find find duplicate that's the question so it's always about optimizing uh, it no extra space no changing it's a read only array you can consider like that and yeah so now when this came even i was a little confused how do i really approach it what should be the approach and how do I go through the solution? Okay. <clears throat> so I tried a couple of things. I tried uh, things like swapping. Then again, I un understood that, oh, swapping will also not work. Then I played with some indices. If I go, so if there is a one, I check a one, I go to the first index, there is a three, I go to second index. I tried doing some things like that, but still it was, uh, it was just, it didn't really come out. The approach didn't really uh, hit me and strike, it, and it didn't, didn't really strike. So uh, then I went to the solution, found that this problem is similar to the linked list cycle problem. Now, when you want to detect a cycle in the linked list, and the normal algorithm is keep a slow pointer, keep a fast pointer. When the slow pointer moves one 
the point fast pointer moves twice and so on and when the slow pointer and fast pointer at any point becomes equal that's when you say that there is a cycle in the link list right so uh, this problem was similar to that so what we are going to do here is we are going to have we'll first run through this particular example this is the example that is given here one three four two two and these are the indices that i have written down here so what we'll do is we'll keep two pointers just like in the linked list we'll have a slow pointer and we'll have a fast pointer the slow pointer will check the value in the in that particular index and then go point to that particular index the fast pointer will check the value of that index which is present in that index it will go to that index then it will again check the value and it will go to the next index so that that's what we are going to do so and if at any point the fast pointer and the slow pointer becomes equal that's when you say that there is a loop finding the start of the loop is actually another loop uh, we'll go that we'll, we'll go there uh, once we just at least understand that there is a loop here so i am initializing my slow pointer to be zero and fast pointer to be zero again uh, so i start a while loop this is a while loop here inside i'm starting a while loop start with condition uh, so i i start the while loop first now in the first this thing uh, i will say that the slow pointer would point to point to nums of 0 so nums of 0 is a 1 so it will point to 1 fast pointer will point to nums of 0 which is a 1 and in that one you see the index 3 so the fast pointer will start pointing here so the fast pointer points at 3 in the next iteration what happens the slow pointer which was at 1 it takes the value here which is 3 it goes and points here at 3 then the fast pointer the fast pointer was already at 3 it goes to 2 it goes to 2 checks the value at 2 it's a 4 so it points to a 4 that's why it's a point it's pointing to a 4 then you have a slow pointer which was pointing to 3 it checks the value at that particular point it's a 2 so it now points the slow pointer is pointing here at at this index at 2 the fast pointer at that particular point of time it was at a 4 so it checks the value on that index it's a it's a 2 so it goes to 2 it checks the value here it's a 4 and again it comes back to 4 so if you see the fast pointer has come a, come in such a loop which is why the value of the fast pointer after this iteration will always remain 4 so fast pointer will go to 4 it will check the value it's a 2 2 has a value of 4 it will come back here and even in the next iteration the same thing goes on so because the slow pointer is moving slowly it checks a 2 at some point of time even the slow pointer will come at 4 now here in this example it just came in the very next iteration but there might be more iterations that uh, one might have to take so yeah so when this happens uh, slow becomes equal to 4 and fast becomes equal to 4 it is at that particular point of time i realize that there is a cycle in the array so i come out of this loop and say that oh there is a cycle in this array slow is still pointing to a 4 so now i make a i initialize fast to be equal to 0 it's a fast pointer that is now pointing to a 0 so fast pointer points here the slow pointer which will point to where the cycle is so 4 it's pointing to 4 now in every iteration the slow pointer and the fast pointer will move by just one index so the slow point so one so fast point i am keeping at 0 the slow point i am keeping at 4 i will go check the index it's a 1 so 3 so fast point is this slow point is this 
fast pointer will check the index it's a one it comes here slow pointer at that particular point will check the index it's a two so slow pointer is pointing here so at this point fast is pointing here slow is pointing here it checks it it checks the value at this index three so slow pointer will now point to three and it checks the value here it it points here four so the fast pointer will go to four now three and four both of them would point to two so when both of them point to two both of these in the very next iteration will come at two so if both of them point to two it means that two is the duplicate number and the fast pointer and the slow pointer becomes equal to two together so it's at that particular point of time you realize that two is the value that is a duplicate because slow pointer and fast pointer both of them were pointing at two at a point where slow pointer and fast pointer were not equal getting it so that is why you say that two is a duplicate out here so that's what we have done there is a fast pointer there is a slow pointer the fast pointer would is zero initially the slow pointer is at 4 the fast pointer checks the value at index 0 it's a 1 slow pointer checks the value at index 4 it's a 2 uh then fast pointer will uh, check the value at index 1 it's a 3 index 1 is a 3 the slow pointer will check the value at index 2 at index 2 it's a 4 so it points to 4 now the slow pointer is pointing to 4 the fast pointer is pointing to 3 both of them are unequal and both of them will next in the very next iteration it will point to 2 and 2 and it will come out of this loop and it will return i will return this fast or or slow i can return anything actually so this is how we actually solve the linked list problem it's 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 like the linked list cycle problem this is how we solve the find the duplicate number problem and uh, the only understanding here that can be taken is when you have numbers in between 1 and n plus 1 or 0 to n sometimes n minus 0 to n minus 1 you have to play with the index and with playing with the index you will somehow observe that there is a pattern and i just walked through with this code once i kept slow pointer and fast pointer as zero initially uh, i have an infinite loop here so if my slow pointer is nums of p of slow and fast pointer initially was nums of nums of p of fast so it's going to to two index it's going it's checking one index then going to the second that that next index it's checking the value at that index neck and going to the third index so that's how it's working uh, for the fast pointer so this keeps on happening and when p of slow that means my slow pointer and the fast pointer becomes equal so it was 4 for our example i break from the loop and i come out of the loop now i just initialize one pointer at 0 and another pointer at so this part this part is simply detecting a cycle so this part over here this loop is simply detecting a cycle if there was no cycle i would have been in this infinite loop all the time so this part is for detecting the cycle and this small while loop over here is for realizing the duplicate in the cycle the reason why a cycle is created because there was a duplicate uh so this is why fast is not equal to slow i just use the index of that and check the value at that then that pointer goes here and so on so that's for today and find duplicate number it's a very interesting problem i would like to to try this problem 
solve it by on your own in whatever language that's fine i hope you understood the logic thank you for watching